Beardos, widows, boss goals, how are we all doing? I've just seen the two ghosts in my kitchen. Obviously, they're not ghosts, but it is that easy. Change opacity, things like that. You can make things look a little bit more believable, especially ridiculous things like that. You tone it down a bit, you can make a ghost really, really easy in your editing software. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today with basic editing technique, how to remove green screen and something that's called a magic mask. Now, I have done keyframing and masking straight lines and stuff by carefully frame by frame masking. I want to see how easy it would be for the DaVinci Resolve magic mask to remove me from my kitchen in order for the, the kitchen cupboards to move. So instead of cutting around things very specifically, very deliberately, frame by frame, which, which can take hours and hours and hours because you've got to keep dragging things with every frame. As a cupboard door opens, your fingers may be in shots. You've got to drop that. I'm not saying this is going to be perfect, but whilst I'm recording, I'm going to show you guys if the magic mask works. Okay, this is DaVinci Resolve, and this is the editing software that I use. Okay, so right here, I have my original footage of the kitchen. It is literally a blank slate. And then here, I've got a green screen from YouTube. There's the ghost. So, in my search bar, I type in 3D Kia. I drag and drop the 3D Kia onto this green video. And then using this dropper tool, I literally extract the green. Let's get rid of those colours as well, shall we? Just down there. This footage, I can then just drag and drop over the top of my kitchen footage. They will be nice. And there's a reason I've left a gap either side. So let's play it. Just... Cool, but there's a lot of green over it. So... Click on the video tab and then let's reposition the video simply with the wheels there. Kind of looks more like ghostly kids. So let's scroll down. Let's see what options we've got available to us. It, right, let's click the effects tab. Obviously, there's green bleeding through, so that's going to take a lot of work, right? No, let's just clean up the despill. No green left. And if you go into user options, and so if you go into key adjustments, the chroma tolerance, look at that. We can make the edges a bit less crisp. Looks cool, but you know, it's not quite as ghostly as we would like. So in the normal video tab, we've got opacity. Let's drop that. Uh oh. There we go. Look, it's a ghost. <laughs> But it stops a little too sudden, you know what I'm saying? So, so we go into video transitions and then we'll put on a cross dissolve right on the edge there. Cross dissolve right on the edge there. And then we'll go to audio transitions and we'll cross dissolve this into zero kilobytes at the same place that it feeds in and the same this side. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Look at them slowly appearing. Basic edit in there, just a chroma key. So there's two strokes, a little bit of pulling about of three different wheels, and there's your ghost. Now, obviously I've gone for something completely over the top, but what if you wanted to do... So let's delete that. What if you wanted to do... A shadow figure. Ooh, spooky. Obviously, I've removed the background and the spill and everything again. Click on the video because this isn't in the right position. We'll drop this down there. It's a little bit too small, so we'll just zoom this image in. And again, we'll cross the volume, even though I don't think this one makes a noise. Video transition, cross dissolve. Right on the edge there, right on the edge there. 
Let's go and see how shadow figure appear in my kitchen. Ooh, spooky. It's even got the jittery ghost movement. Cool. Easy enough, I hear you say. Okay, so we'll go for a little bit of a test, yeah? Now, this is, again, just footage of my kitchen. Now, the, cl the clip was too short, so all I've done is loop the clip three times. So it's the same length as this video. But um, I don't need the audio on these tracks because it'll give away that it's looped. So we'll knock the audio off. But this footage is obviously me under my kitchen cupboards. Now, how easy is it going to be to mask myself out of this picture without going frame by frame? Now, I'm not saying this is going to be perfect, and I haven't tried this magic mask yet. But I just want to see how good it could do without me refining and without me, you know, being really careful and meticulous with it. What can the automatic settings of DaVinci Resolve Studio do? Okay, so I've gone into DaVinci Resolve color page. I've clicked on my magic mask there. I've clicked the plus icon there. I think this will work. And I think I just draw all of the area. Make sure I get my fingers there. I'll mask the fridge out as well because of my reflection. Right, so obviously there's been a spill over the top there because it's trying to pick all the same colours. So if I use So if I use this minus tool, can I then pull out the masking up there? Because I don't want any of this to be masked. Or that bit there. We need to keep that. Oh, we also need the corners of these cupboards. Obviously, there is there's a mask, red. The blue area is highlighted in red. I think this will mask it out. And even if it doesn't, I can always hit this uh, invert mask, which should swap it around if I've got this wrong. So next, we hit um, this button here, which is the tracking button. So this should track all the frames beginning to end of this footage of me Pulling these cupboard doors open. So far, it looks like the masking has actually caught my thumbs and my fingers as well and left the cupboards in. That's pretty clever. This is obviously it masking forward, and then it'll mask backwards as well. And all this has been done in minutes. I haven't had to mask anything by frame. I think the cupboard doors are going to look a bit wobbly on the bottom once they're open, but you know, the, my intention isn't to make this look perfect. My intention is just to... See if we can replicate what we see in these videos with the most basic laziness that I can put in muster into a video. So let's go back to this. Right, that hasn't worked at all. Right, right click, add alpha output. I'll join this. Now, will that have worked? Let's go back to our regular page. Hey, look at that. My cupboard doors have disappeared instead of me. Bollocks. Colour page. We can fix that. We will just click Invert the Mask. Back to the Edit tab. Pull this over my footage there. Let's see what happens. Oh, you can obviously hear me walking in. Oh, look. There's me breathing. So there we go, there's a little bit of wobbling at the bottom of the cupboards. But this is literally two minutes work. 
see my hand coming into shot just the or it's masked out my man my hand and didn't know what to do with the actual cupboard it's not caught any reflections in the fridge which is something people forget not got any reflections in any of the appliances Ooh, ghosty. Obviously, there's... That's where my hand is, the Hey, my belly's in shot. <laughs> now, I could clean all of this up with a little bit of effort in editing. But look how quick that was. Now imagine I had more time. Every video that I put out was my house is haunted. Look how haunted my house is. I could spend hours and hours and hours on that. Just moving the mask a little bit. Go into a frame where my thumb is in shot and just putting that little dash on my thumb. The automatic tracking on DaVinci Resolve almost did a perfect job for me. Straight out of the box. Now, this software that I'm using is DaVinci Resolve Studio. It's not the free version, so you can't get the magic mask on the free version. But on the paid version, you get it. And it works with your RT it works with your graphics card. I have an RTX 4070, which is quite a which is a decent graphics card. And DaVinci Resolve works with AI in the graphics card, in with all the effects. So that's how it knew what to track. And that was just very, very loosely with me just drawing a couple of lines instead of cutting around everything in squares. There's a video Mr. Gree did years ago. It's recently been touched on in Boo Productions where he shows Mr. Gree under the cupboard and then his head pop up out of a mask. I didn't even need to do that now. That was literally seconds. You will have seen it pretty much in real time. That is how long it took me to fake my cupboards opening with what is essentially a bit of a new technology so there you go for people that don't understand masking um this is a fantastic example i have a blank video of my kitchen in full without me in shot i then record myself in the kitchen playing with a couple of doors and then i mask out myself and the appliances at the bottom half stick the two videos together and the red area that you're seeing up there is the masked in video so it's overlaid over the top of my blank slate so there's two videos playing at the same time hopefully this explains to you what masking is because i get asked about it a lot but also while we're at it i mean my my shadow figure and the ghost kids in my kitchen that i did just with a green screen and a chroma key you've seen smug puppy do this in fact one of the ghosts that he had shoot across his yard is on youtube as a green screen it's very lazy and it's literally drag and drop an effect onto you. Change the colour key. Take away the green. It's all automatic. It takes seconds. And these guys can pull the wool over your eyes. Easy, easy, easy. So, Beardo, you've just taught everyone how to fake it. Yes, I have. But I've also taught you what to look for. Now, everyone is going to be looking at these cupboard doors. Look at them opening and closing now. Woo, spooky, scary. But look around these cupboard doors look at the edging of these cupboard doors and you will see there you go what's this there's my cuff popping that there is my hand bleeding through and you could clean that up in editing there's my thumb on this angle the cupboard door the corner point is missing there and it's missing because my thumb is over it and my thumb has been masked out so there you go. That is literally how easy these people that are being haunted in their own homes are getting away with this crap. Now, this green screen stuff, you can use outdoors. You can use whatever you want, whatever footage you want. You turn the opacity down on your green screen video and overlay it in a graveyard. There's a ghost running amongst the tombstones and people are going to believe it. So do please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I know this is different than most videos that I make, but a lot of people ask me about masking. They don't understand masking. So masking can be taking things out or even putting things in. Because even by chroma keying, taking the green out of a green screen image and then putting it over the top, that's still a mask. That is a second video played over an original blank slate. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Much love to you all. Be it out.